What's going on guys? I'm Tyler and I'm here to let you know that The Lodge is no perfect movie. And it centers on a soon-to-be stepmom played by Riley Keough who is trapped all by herself in a blizzard in her boyfriend's cabin with his two kids, Jaden Martell and Liam McHugh, who cannot stand her for the way that she has entered their lives after their mom left. And as each day goes by, the tension between the three of them begins to remind her of her own tragic past. I was looking forward to seeing this movie. I hadn't heard a ton about it. I didn't watch any trailers. I didn't see any pictures. I just saw the poster. I saw that a decent amount of people enjoyed it. And the fact that it was directed by the same people who made Goodnight Mommy, a movie that I haven't seen, but again, heard a lot of good things about, I was just like, okay, let's walk into this movie blind. And I did hear from a couple reviews that there are some accidental similarities to Hereditary. It's a psychological drama with horror elements about a family that's dealing with some traumatic events. There are dolls that are used as a visual metaphor, and the scares come from more of the story and the circumstances of the characters as opposed to the filmmaking techniques that are around in horror movies. We'll just say that. And yeah, it did feel like I was watching something similar to Hereditary and... I gotta be honest, I'm not really a fan of Hereditary, and kind of for the same reasons I was let down by The Lodge. But I will say this, the best part of The Lodge are the three main performances. Riley Keough is at her best as a woman who actually has a lot in common with her soon-to-be stepkids, in that she's trying to deal with some traumatic events from her childhood, but she's unwilling to share this pain with really anyone, just like they're not willing to share their pain with her. And that's what creates the dramatic tension between the three of them. I feel like this is a really good drama as opposed to a horror movie, and it comes from the acting and the writing of the conflict at hand. Jaden Martell especially has a lot of hidden pain whenever he's around her because he feels as if he has the most responsibility now that it's just him, his sister, and his dad, and he feels like his dad isn't really doing anything with them anymore. Liam McHugh, as young as she is, has to portray a lot of deep and tough emotions that are hard for adults to portray, let alone kids, and it was really impressive. But before I get into the scares, I know that a lot of people are going to say, well, this is better than most mainstream horror movies that are just all jumpy and flashy and nothing else, and look, I agree that jump scares can be lazy if nothing scary is going on. However, if I do think something is scary happening in the scene and it builds up immensely before that, I can accept that fact. For example, The Conjuring 2, there's this great sequence where a girl is hiding from a ghost and it cuts back and forth between a close-up of her to a POV of this unseen ghost walking towards her and the cutting back and forth, that was build-up. That was insanely good tension. And I can go on and on, in fact, I have gone on and on about A Quiet Place using lighting, sound design, cinematography, even costume design to elevate the tension. It wasn't just jump scares, despite what some people make it out to be. And not once did I really feel scared or really even all that tense during the lodge because I didn't feel like they built up the scares. I felt like I was being dropped in a scene that happened to have some really deep and dark shit, I'll admit that, but as soon as I'm thrown into the scene, it happens, and then it cuts away right to the next scene without much transition. And I know some people are gonna say, well, that's scary to me, you're being thrown into something you don't know about, it's, it makes it feel unpredictable, it questions whether these characters are reliable. And I agree with all of those things, it just, it just doesn't scare me because it doesn't feel like I had enough time to soak in the moment. And it also feels as if the directors are kind of limiting themselves with what they can do directing a horror movie. I noticed a lot of shots are really just a wide of a character and then the camera just slowly dollies in forward. And it was interesting at first, but after a while it just got really repetitive and it made me realize something. There are very few close-ups in the movie which make two really tough problems for me. One... Close-ups are a really good way to make you feel scared for someone. And two, this is a movie that's supposed to be kind of claustrophobic. They're in one location, this lodge, throughout the majority of the movie. 
There's like very little contact with society outside of that. And yet you're portraying this through mostly through wide shots. It's kind of hard to make you feel claustrophobic when you have all this wide open space in front of you. Now being scared through directing techniques and stylistic choices is one thing. Being scared for the characters due to the writing is another. And even though all three of these actors were doing a really good job, I can't really say I was scared for them all that much because there's a lot of things about them other than the central conflict that we don't know about. Like the kids. The reason that they hate this woman in the first place is because they she feels they feel as if she's like invading their life and that she's nothing like their mom, but we don't really know anything about their mom. We get like one scene with her with these kids and without giving anything away, it doesn't give us much of a reason to understand what she has and this new woman doesn't because this new woman is trying so hard to connect with them. She's being incredibly patient, more than she really should be, to be honest. And even the stepmom, her tragic past, which, again, does have some detail thrown into there, we don't really understand why it happened to her in the first place. In fact, the movie spends so much time with her trying to bond with these kids that I actually kind of forgot that her past was even part of the movie. And as for the eventual outcome over what is, in fact, going on, in this blizzard, it involves a twist that I will not spoil, but it centers on a character trying to make amends with someone. But I didn't feel the amends because the twist exists, and I didn't feel like these making amends really felt earned because these characters brought the pain on themselves, and I felt like they kind of deserved to go through hell. And based on what I saw on screen, I wasn't supposed to be feeling that. I was supposed to be feeling regret and remorse, but I didn't. The Lodge does have a lot of good things going for it, some of which I still haven't even mentioned in this video because it does involve spoilers, but there are some good uses of symbolism. There are some good techniques that are thrown in there to at least create an uncomfortable atmosphere. And all three of the actors did a really good job. Riley Keough, Jaden Martell, Liam McHugh, they were all outstanding. But it tries so hard to be different in certain things like how to scare someone or how to leave something up to interpretation that it didn't always mesh and it wasn't always focused. And for that reason, I'm going to give The Lodge a 2.5 out of 5. Guys, thanks as always for watching. If you've seen The Lodge, you're probably going to tell me how much I suck and that the movie doesn't. Feel free, that's probably not going to change my mind. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the movie. And be sure to like and subscribe. Take care.